Hi guys, it's Alex here again from A.J. Overlanding and welcome back to our Big Lap Essentials series. This week we're just going to go through our top five DIY kitchen mods for your wagon. Last week we did our top five lesson in essentials and there should be a link somewhere above me um, so if you didn't see that give it a watch. So the top five DIY mods for your perfect camp kitchen. Number one, a drop down table. Quite common, we just went on YouTube and there's an awesome video telling us exactly how to do it. We made a few changes though. So this is basically a bit of wood that you screw in top bottom when you have a hinge, easy. Um, we added a little bit of elastic to make a tea towel holder and we also did not make it the full length of the car and the reason for that being I can open my drawer which has all of my utensils and, and food in whilst the table is down. If the table is the full length you're just not going to be able to get into your drawer and it'll be a nightmare if you're cooking on your table. So that is mod number one. Mod number two which goes part of our table is our utensil holder. So we did not want to have to rummage around in a bag to get all our utensils. So we went to Bunnings and we got a bit of plywood, which is attached in what used to be a bit of mesh storage space. We literally went or, or we worked out what we're going to use every day. So cutlery, tongs, knives, etc. And we just sat in Bunnings and tried to work out what might be a good way of holding it. It's largely just Velcro that's been screwed down. And then we just got a, um, a few bits of aluminium tubing in different shapes and sizes. And we were literally like, yep, okay, a knife fits in here. And we screwed it in one evening whilst watching the TV. So this makes our cooking life so much easier if you just grab what you want and not having to rummage around in a bag. So that's number two. Number three is now becoming more common and it's a kind of a table topper for your drawer. Um, I think Kings now actually make these, but they didn't at the time. So this is just a bit of bench top kind of wood that we got from Bunnings that we've just recessed along the bottom. So it sits on top of the edges of the drawer. What's cool is it can slide out the way. I can move it onto my top drawer and because it's a bit of um, a bench top wood, I can't burn it, which I have done the table a few times. Don't tell Justin. Um, so it basically, almost it adds half on again of our bench space and we find ourselves doing a lot of our cutting on here and then cooking down here number four and you'll learn um, from life on the road that the kitchen towel or paper towel becomes extremely useful and is kind of your your go-to when you haven't got a constant supply of water for cleaning washing wiping your hands and um, we got really bored of constantly getting it out of a box so we literally just got a Bunnings paper towel holder for kind of two, three bucks and drilled it in. We, we do use a hair tie to ensure it doesn't run in the wind because we are conscious we do have a flame just here when we cook. So there are kind of four easy mods. N number five is a bit of a cheat. It's not really a modification, but I do think it's an essential for a camp kitchen and that is canvas bags. So we've got a mixture of the King's canvas bags and also some Bush Company canvas bags that they gave us and we use them for our extra utensils because obviously we don't just have this we've got bowls and etc um, and then also our saucepans live in the King's camp kitchen one so all of our saucepans and mixing bowls are in there and by having it in a canvas bag you just haven't got loose things all over the place it keeps them neat and tidy and you know exactly where to look so yeah our top five DIY modifications for your perfect camp kitchen. If you have any questions on how we did any of it or if there's anything which you think we should add to our camp kitchen please leave them in the comments below. 
We'll see you next week for our next Big Lap Essentials. Also, if Bunnings want to sponsor us, <laughs> hit us up. You spent much of money, much of money on Bunnings.